Around about four or five months ago, I purchased this product from Biome. I was interested in testing my gut and seeing what the microbiome in there is doing. How diverse is it? How not diverse is it? And what kind of diet should I actually be on? The creator of this product, uh, Javine Jan, has been on a number of podcasts and shows that I have watched about health and entrepreneurship. And I was interested by him, he's a very unique character, and his sell for this product really actually got me interested, so I decided to purchase it. It is round about 400 US dollars to get this package. Now, when you get it, you will get a number of little small tests, and these tests um, will allow you to send the information back to Viome so they can test your gut, uh, test what's going on in your current system, and be able to work out where you are and what kind of diet you should be on and what kind of foods to avoid. A lot of the diseases that happen to humans are because of chronic inflammation. And this is where Viome has its main selling point. By knowing what exactly is going on in your body and what foods you should be eating, you can affect that inflammation quite easily by following the dietary recommendations. When I got my results back, I was a little shocked to start with. There were a few foods in my avoid list that I eat quite regularly, those being potatoes. Also on my minimize list, there was obviously the right rice and there was bread, which you can kind of think of that in a, if you're into diets and you kind of understand that right rice and bread isn't great for you anyway. However, there were other foods on my minimize list that I was also rather shocked about, and that was quinoa and spinach. And there was a couple of other vegetables thrown in there as well more like carrots and things like that, similar to uh, potatoes and, and yams as well. And that's healthy food in my mind. And to find out, and being Irish, and to find out that I can't eat potatoes anymore was a little bit surprising. Over the last four months or so, I've been following the dietary recommendations for Biome. Now, I haven't been following them religiously, and I can tell you when I don't follow them, I actually feel a difference. When I do eat potatoes or have uh, fish and chips, for, for example, and a bit of batter in there, I do feel tired afterwards. Now, I used to feel tired, but I didn't used to have a connection between, oh, hold on a second, that's not a food I should be having. I was just thinking, I've indulged myself. I recently also had rice for the first time in six months to test because uh, rice was on my minimized list and I had a bowl of that and I didn't feel well afterwards. And I've switched my diet to try to, to focus on the foods that they recommended to me. And when I stay on point with those foods, I do feel more energized and I, I do feel better about myself, maybe because I'm following along the recommendations, but also as I just mentioned, when I go off the diet, I feel tired afterwards. When I have pizza, when I have too much bread, when I have uh, you know, potatoes or yams, they, it bogs me down and I can feel tired afterwards. But when I have, say, tuna with some fruit and, and some nice vegetables, like broccoli is on my superfood list. When I eat broccoli and, and have some uh, other Brussels sprouts and, and maybe a little bit of grass-fed beef, I feel great afterwards. I can eat as much of that as I want and it doesn't make me feel slow or tired that day or the next day. One of my favorite things about Biome is the app that comes with it. It is super handy to carry with you when you go to the supermarket. You can check out what foods that are on your enjoy list, your indulge list or your superfood list and you can actually end up purchasing foods that you wouldn't normally reach for. I was actually quite lucky with my results as a lot of foods that I already enjoy a lot like tuna and salmon, grass fed beef, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, things that I have already got used to having in my diet regularly were actually on my good list so all I've done is expand foods that I enjoy over more meals throughout my week. Now there are other things on the list that I have yet to try and I should really get out there and, and broaden my scope because I don't want to end up eating the same five to ten foods over and over again because my body will get used to that. I find diets really confusing. They're the most confusing thing in the world. Paleo, keto, vegetarian, vegan, bulletproof, all these different diets out there and everybody seems to be a, a flag waving supporter of them and that's the right one and this is the wrong one and th this one's better than that one but yet I don't know what's good for me. What's good for me? Is being a vegan good for me? Is being a vegetarian good for me? Is being uh, on the bulletproof diet good for me? And this is where Viome, I think, helps those of us that might not be suffering from chronic pain currently. If you are, I totally recommend this product as an option for you. But if you aren't, 
I recommend this product like I used it to find out what's actually right for me. Because I don't want to spend the next 5, 10, 15 years of being on a diet that's cool and hip like keto or paleo or bulletproof diet and then find out that some of the foods that I've been eating regularly for 5 or 10 years were actually doing me harm. And that's what happened to me when I got my results back. I found out that some foods that I ate a lot of that you would describe as healthy were actually bad for me. That's it from me this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please go ahead and give me a like button and leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this product. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you can follow along and get lots more content on my struggling to succeed journey. My mission here is to deliver you guys bite-sized videos each week that can hopefully help you start your journey of success. Thanks very much for watching. Hope to see you next time. And as always, make it a good one.